What is monitoring and evaluation? Most of the things that we do in our personal lives does have some reason. In a similar way, the development agencies and business organizations carry out numerous projects, programs and interventions to get or see the change they want. But how do the development sectors and business organizations make sure that the resources are rightly invested and it is not wasted? This is where monitoring and evaluation comes into play. Monitoring and evaluation, as we can see, is a combination of two different functions, monitoring and evaluation. Monitoring, on one hand, is an ongoing process of planning, collecting and analyzing data to see that the project, program or any interventions is progressing well. Monitoring helps us track progress, spot implementation gaps, detect risk and challenges and minimize resource wastage so that we can take timely actions. For example, a health program providing nutrition supplement to school children to reduce the prevalence of anemia may want to do a monthly monitoring checks on several factors to see that everything is going well. Evaluation, on the other hand, is a systematic assessment of the project, program or any interventions in terms of its effectiveness, relevance and sustainability carried out at some specific time. For example, the same health program which provides nutrition supplement to school children to reduce prevalence of anemia may want to evaluate the result of the program at the end to see how much reduction in anemia has happened in school children due to the program. So monitoring and evaluation are two different but interconnected processes that allows organizations to regularly measure the progress and also to assess the success of project and programs at the end. Monitoring and evaluation involves setting up clear goals, establishing indicators and targets, collecting and managing data, analyzing and reporting the findings, and finally using the feedback to improve on the outcomes. Monitoring and evaluation is also important for ensuring accountability, evidence-based decision-making, improving effectiveness and efficacy, learning and knowledge management, and transparency and sustainability. Monitoring involves constant tracking of progress, performance and resource utilization over time to ensure that the project is on track and meets its objectives. But how do you monitor a project? Here are some basic steps to effectively monitor a project. The first step in monitoring a project involves clearly defining the scope of the project. Defining the scope, objectives and goals will help us understand what and when to measure. Defining the scope and objectives will also help us establish the metrics and the indicators that can be used to monitor the progress of the project. Second, we need to develop a detailed project plan that includes the timeline, milestone and deliverables. This project plan can then be used as a basis for tracking progress during the project implementation. If there is already an existing project plan, then we can use the same to compare the actual progress and the resource utilization with the plan. Third, it is important that there is a clear roles and responsibilities assigned to the team members. Also, communication channel needs to be established to ensure that everyone is aware of the responsibilities and there is a continuous flow of information regarding the project, its issues and progress. At number four, we need to develop the monitoring system which will enable us to track the progress against the project plan. Monitoring system can take a form of regular status report, checkpoint reports, progress reports or reporting against some standard formats including dashboard reports. After having the monitoring system in place, we can start collecting data on project performance and progress, including financial data and issues or risk that may arise. Having collected the data on the project, it needs to be analyzed so as to see how the project is progressing. The progress 
data needs to be compared with the milestone or the plan to understand the project progress against the objectives. The data can be used to identify trains and patterns, understand the risk and bottlenecks that needs to be addressed, and other areas for improvements. Ultimately, based on the analysis, we need to communicate the progress of the project to stakeholders, including the team members. Also, we have to take corrective actions if the project is not progressing well. Corrective actions may include reallocation of resources, revising the project plan, adjusting the timelines, and correcting other bottlenecks. This should help project get on track. Monitoring a project needs to be systematic where actual progress is tracked against the project plan. Data collection, analysis, and site visits has to be made carefully so as to be as accurate as possible. By carefully monitoring and taking corrective actions on time, we can ensure that our project stays on track and meets its objectives. How to evaluate a project? Project evaluation is the process of measuring success of a project or a program. It involves systematic assessment of the project, program, or any interventions to measure its effectiveness and relevance. But how do we evaluate a project? Here are some basic steps in evaluating a project effectively. Number one, defining the evaluation criteria. The first thing that we need to do is to define the criteria against which we want to evaluate the project. It is important that these criteria are measurable, specific, and aligned with the project goals. Number two, data collection. After having defined the evaluation criteria, then we can start with the data collection to see the project's performance against the evaluation criteria. Data can be collected through project documents, surveys, interviews, and observations. Number three, analyzing the data. Once the data is collected, then we need to analyze it to identify the patterns and the trends. We have to look for areas where project has met or exceeded expectations and areas where the project has fallen short. Number four, assessing the impact. After data analysis, we can assess the impact of the project on the stakeholders, including customers, employees, and the partners. Here, we need to consider both the positive and the negative impacts. Also, we can compare the project performance against its initial goals and objectives. This process helps us determine if the project has achieved its intended outcomes or not, and if not, why. Number five, identifying areas for improvements. Based on the analysis, we can identify areas where the project can be improved. This can include making changes to project management processes, refining the project's scope and goals. Number six, communicating the results. Finally, we have to communicate the results of the evaluation to the stakeholders, which will help build trust and transparency and also provide insights for future projects. So, in summary, evaluating a project requires a careful planning, data collection, and analysis so as to ascertain the impact of the project and identify areas for improvement. Thank you.